Welcome to Cambridge. Now, if you're expecting a video on orchids, I'm sorry, but this is going to be a very quick video about one of my other garden passions, which is box topiary. If you have box topiary in your garden and you don't want them to look like this, or even worse still, end up like this, you need to get one of these and some of this. This box contains little sachets of a biological um, bacterial um, control for box tree moth caterpillars and all you need to do is snip the top off put it in a pressure sprayer add about three liters of water there mix it up a bit it dissolves quite easily And then spray your box topiary, box edging. Now it's best to pump it up so that it provides a sort of medium coarse spray, not too fine, otherwise it'll blow around. And what you need to do is to just work all the way over the tree from top to bottom. This is quite a good day because it's fairly calm and it's dry and warm. They do recommend that you um, treat them when the temperature is at least 15 centigrade. I'm particularly concentrating on the lower half of the plant and trying to wet the foliage but not to the point where it all starts dripping off because that would just be wasteful. The box tree moths seem to go particularly for the lower bits of box trees and box topi and box edging and then gradually during the season they work their way up. So I'll just um, finish off. Let's see Let's, uh, I'll just time it. So I'll go off and do the others. All right, well that was about four minutes, so it's about one minute um, per, per piece of box topiary. Now I've got some other um, topiary to do, so I'll just go off and do those. Now these two beautiful um, topiary spirals I've been training for about the last 20 years so to me they're quite precious they're also very beautiful. Um, just before I spray them I'm going to bring you uh, much closer to show you why I'm having to spray now. This is a, a really close-up shot quite low down on one of these topiary spirals and this is what you need to look for at this time of the year. You can see a little bit of webbing and some leaves that don't really look quite right. And that is because in here is a little tiny caterpillar. They tend to sort of um, cocoon themselves up with a bit of sort of webbing there. Now that is a tiny little, I'll just take it off so you can see it. A tiny little box tree moth caterpillar that has overwintered on this box tree. That started out as an egg at the end of last year when one of the moths flew around and laid some eggs, probably in October when it was quite mild, the last generation. The eggs would have hatched and produced tiny little caterpillars, probably only two or three millimetres long. And I found them last year in February. You wouldn't even know that they were there because they're so tiny. Now that's already started feeding because now the weather's warmed up and probably by about the end of um, April they'll be an inch or so long and sometime during May they'll pupate and then produce adults which will start flying around all over Cambridge um, laying their eggs on other people's box trees and probably mine. Now this is quite a good time of the year to start spraying because the caterpillars are still quite small and although I had to look quite carefully um, to find any caterpillars to show you, that's because I started spraying these box trees last August. I sprayed in August and then again in late September or early October to catch the last generation. Most of the damage that you can see around the bottom here is a result of the damage that was caused last year before I started spraying. Now this is the last of 11 pieces of box topiary that I have to spray. Uh, the one round there isn't box, it's um, a different shrub. And what I wanted to say just before I spray this and finish up is that 
You can buy pheromone traps, which are designed to catch the male moths. We tried them last year and they certainly do catch the male moths, but they don't catch all the male moths that are flying around Cambridge or, and they probably don't catch all the moths before they've mated with the females. So I've thrown mine away um, because we still ended up with a big box tree moth caterpillar problem on our box topiary. That was before I discovered that you can now freely buy the biological bacterial spray. The final thing I want to say is, and I'll have to bring you quite close in a minute, it would be just about possible, and this is what we did for several years before box tree moss became so uh, numerous, um, to control them entirely by hand. That means spending a lot of time going over the box tree very carefully, looking, searching for the caterpillars and <laughs> squeezing them basically, killing them by hand. It's not a very pleasant job, it's extremely time consuming and you have to keep at it, keep at it because you, in one go you never find all the caterpillars, especially when they're really tiny. So a few days later you go back to the same piece of topiary and it's being eaten all over again. But I'll just bring you in really close and show you how if you're really determined and you just had say one small piece of topiary, you could manage it. Now here we are again, this is what you're looking for. You see some leaves that are sort of, there's one that's been eaten there, there's some leaves that are there that aren't quite ori orientated correctly and some um, webbing. And inside there, there will be a caterpillar. You can just about, you can see it there. So if I was controlling it by hand, what I would do, rather than picking up the caterpillar, I'd just simply go like that. You see that liquid there? That's what used to be the caterpillar. And just simply doing that does slightly um, bruise the box foliage, but the caterpillar comes off a heck of a lot worse. It's not very nice to do, but it's quite satisfying if you're that way inclined. Right, well that's about all for this time. I hope you found this video useful. Box tree moss caterpillars, oh, it's an alien species that has spread from Asia. It's now very widespread in Europe and um, certainly very large parts of um, this country. Walking around, I've seen a lot of very seriously affected, and in some cases dead, um, box trees, certainly around Cambridge. It's particularly present in town. Um, and I think a lot of people either don't realise what's actually happening to their box topiary, or they don't know quite what to do about it. Anyway, I do hope you found this useful, and if you have box topiary this year, um, get some of that stuff I was talking about and try to keep your box topia in good condition. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one, which will be about orchids, I promise.